Hi, Taurus. This is Meg with Padme's, and I'm going to do your mid-month love reading for October 2020. So we're calling in our angels and guides with the highest vibrations of love and light. I don't want to talk to anybody else. And anyone who has sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Taurus, you can find messages here. Asking for energy around love. Ooh. Yep. Energy around love for October 2020. So here we go, Taurus. What's going on with you in October? All right, Taurus, some interesting stuff here. Okay, so first of all, the first thing that I'm noticing is the big picture, which is the, the high priestess reversed. And for me, this is kind of like letting the cat out of the bag. So, you know, and I'm also wondering if there's some kind of uh, proposal happening here, because literally your trajectory is the Ace of Pentacles. And for me, that is, that's a big, big ticket item kind of thing. So it's like a proposal or a ring or a big gift that is substantial, you know, like a, a grand gesture sort of thing. So those are definitely the first two things that I'm seeing. Then we have the heart of the situation, which is the star and temperance, but both reversed. So the, the star and temperance both reversed. It's like, it's almost like um, we've been waiting and waiting for so long. We haven't been using our highest and greatest potential. And it's like there's been patience that's been needed. It's like somebody needed to be ready or somebody needed to gain the strength to be ready or something. And it's been, it's been hard to have patience. Let me ask a little bit about that. Actually, you know what? I want to come back to Oracle for that. What up with the patient or the lack of patience? It feels pretty strong and solid. Hmm. So here we have the puzzle piece. So it's like one last puzzle piece needed to be put in place before this could happen. And it looks like that happened. So even in the happening now and into the near future, Here's a whole bunch of manifesting. We've got the magician. So the magician is pulling it all together. Talk about putting that last puzzle piece in the right place. And then all of these are also major arcana. So you've got coming from this place of, it did come out reverse, but to me, that's like a decision hasn't been made or a decision needs to be made. But what it looks like is the decision was made. The puzzle piece fell into place. The positive potential was accessible and you're starting to use it. This is like planning something, planning something big. Here's the deal. And I want to know more about this too. Your advice is the page of cups reversed. Ooh, and I'm feeling your throat chakra activated super when I say that. So that is about speaking your truth. This page of cups reversed is about, oh, you know what I'm hearing is accessing an offer but if I were to normally see this reversed, I would say it's a, an offer that's not taken, an offer of love that you're choosing not to take or you haven't taken. And this is your advice. So let's, let me, I want woo, more information on that. Let's see. Right. Okay. So the Empress comes out for more clarification on that, not taking this. I feel like uh, perhaps the offer was there before, but just like that puzzle piece came out, all the puzzles, all the pieces weren't in place. And so it's like, until all the pieces are in place and until you feel like the empress that you are, don't say yes to the offer if it's not exactly what it is that you want. So let me ask, what is it? What is the puzzle piece that was missing? What was it? What was it? I mean, if that puzzle piece hasn't fallen into place, the manifesting magician is saying that it's going to fall into place any moment. I almost feel like it's already 
fall in there. And so, but here's your advice. And it's like, until you feel like the empress that you are, don't say yes to this offer of love. Right. Okay, I think the puzzle piece had to do with, well, I feel like somebody wanted to make more money or somebody wanted to be in a better position or a position to uh, provide or something like that. This also has to do with um, other people's opinions. So a puzzle piece possibly had to be put in place for some of you so that it was like, no, this is about us and it's not about anybody else. And so until it's just about us, that's going to be a no. So I feel like that puzzle piece is falling into place too, though, Taurus. And your higher self is like, my heart is so open to receiving this love. And your angels and guides are saying, there's a lot of childhood stuff that you've released. You've walked past, you've walked on, you've walked on from your childhood. This is like, <laughs> I even want to say a bona fide relationship. This is the real deal. This is uh, moving out of patterns from childhood and patterns from the past and moving into something new. When I look at past, present, future, uh, hold on a second. I wanna go over here, I just saw this. So in your release the idea that you're not gonna go through a rite of passage, I think there's a definite marriage commitment, uh, commitment ceremony, wedding, Something's going on here and I have resistance to not moving on emotionally. So your momentum is going toward moving forward and moving on. And I think it's from moving on from old relationships, childhood relationships, relationships, karmic relationships, relationships that needed to heal and bring something full circle. Yep. So here you are in the future and it's like, Here's this brand new experience, this brand new adventure, and this brand new offer that looks like a big yes. Okay, so in the past, it's like <clears throat> there has been a reason for celebration. In the present time, it's like, okay, there's some nesting going on. There's some getting quiet, going inward, taking a little relaxing vacation, getting into your nest, so to speak before all of this amazing stuff happens. It's like, here you hit the jackpot. That's also my fairy tale card. Wow, Taurus, that looks amazing. So I want to go ahead and pull from the romance oracle. What do your guides and angels have to say about this amazing energy around huge commitment? Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So looks like you might have already done that, but with the magician card, you could still be doing it. Okay, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That might have been the puzzle piece also, Taurus, if you had some, some kind of conflicting views or if you were still getting together what others' views were about what your business was then the puzzle piece could be that. But it looks like those things have been, I want to even say contended with. I want to pull from this goddess deck to anything else that your angels and guides want to tell you for your mid-month love reading in October. Here it is. Maybe not. Here it is. Focus, Artemis. Focus. This is great. I like this too. First of all, that's a four. And so that's about foundations. For me, that's a marriage number, a possibility of that. Good foundation for that. Also, Artemis is shooting arrows and those are Cupid's arrows, but they're also arrows of intent. So that's creating goals and that's hitting your target when you focus. I think that's amazing. I love it, Taurus. Have a wonderful rest of your month. I'm looking forward to your mid, nope to your uh, tarot scopes in November. Have a really good Mercury retrograde. Okay.